Jasmine is now my cat. She's wild, and it took her a long time to trust me. She's astute, and she avoids the elements and humans by hiding in shrubs and backyards. Petting her and giving her snacks are two of her favorite things to do. On the other hand, because she avoids litter boxes, I don't have to bother about cleaning up after her. I also don't have to be concerned about her location, she'll be in the neighborhood and will know where to find food and goodies. You might say I have a pet, however, it spends much of its time outside. It took me a long time and a lot of patience. Initially, wild cats are wary of humans and will flee if approached. Jasmine did not flee. When I stepped out of the house with some freshly opened cat food in my hand and placed it within her reach, she ran to me. Before returning to the house, I speak softly to her. I finally got to pet her and scratch her ears after weeks and months of waiting. She is now so friendly that she greets me around the corner and follows me home for treats and food. Leave food and treats to entice a feral cat to trust you. Then take a step back. Never yell at a feral cat or act aggressively toward it. Allow time for it to get used to you and your voice, which it will most likely do. Don't, on the other hand, rush. And be aware that the cat may never be able to trust you. Lily, a feral cat, was previously tried to befriend. I fed her for a few years but never got the chance to pet her. Then Lily vanished on a sweltering, steamy day. At the very least, she never went hungry or went without water or attention. You can expect a feral cat to trust you someday, but you should never expect it. Feral cats are similar, though they have the possibility to be kept as pets. When Jasmine produced kittens, she brought them to my yard and nursed them at my back door, and I was able to adopt one of them, Ross. Roscoe is now a healthy neutered indoor tomcat, if I hadn't taken him in, he might have gone feral and died, however, his mother, Jasmine, survived and is now my full-time pet. She is, of course, spayed. She, on the other hand, refuses to enter the house. Whatever the case may be. Regardless, I adore her.